Well, hey there everybody, how y'all doing? Hope everybody's having a wonderful day or night and welcome back to my channel. As always, I'm Deluxe. All right, let's do another uh, you know, throwback to the uh, TFCon panels and everything. So I've been doing a little series uh, this past month and uh, I thought I'd you know, go back and take a look at some of the third party panels from TFCon. Since TFCon is about a, you know, a month away, I'm really excited for it. It's going to be in Baltimore and everything. So we're moving forward and we're going to be talking about 2018 TFCon. We're going back to Chicago again for the third Third time, golly, let's go. So yeah, I got a bunch of you. I'm just gonna talk about you know some of the third-party panels, you know some of the companies that you know they uh, showed off their stuff and everything. I thought it'd be pretty cool to you know go back and uh, relive you know those moments and everything. So I'm only doing the East Coast and Midwest, you know, and all that stuff. That's the only ones I've been to. Uh, would love to go to the other ones, but uh, yeah, do me a favor as well. Hit that like button. It really helps out the channel if you subscribe. If you haven't already, I really appreciate that. Go to Show Z and buy something and use Deluxe 32 at the top. It really helps out the channel as well. So yeah, let's just get right to it and talk about TFCon 2018 third party panel. And uh, yeah, let's go. This is fun. All right, so up first is going to be Code Constructs, which I don't remember these. I don't like to. I don't think any of these came out. Uh, but this was a go, they were going to present a Transformer Cybertron Scatter Shot, which is pretty cool. Uh, Transformer Cybertron Hot Shot, a Cybertron Overhaul, and also a Cybertron Jetfire. Now we do get some renders of Scatter Shot. We get some kind of uh, nothing really from the other three. Uh, but like I said, I don't think any of these came out. If anybody did, if anybody got these, uh, it might have been a Kickstarter or something like that. If anybody knows any information on this, definitely hit me in the comments. But yeah, I don't remember this company, but they didn't, I guess they didn't stay around very long. So there you go. There is Cold Constructs and they were giving us some uh, Cybertron stuff. All right. All right, up next is Fans Hobby. Love some Fans Hobby. So we got to see more of their Double Evil, which is a G1 Overlord. He is freaking fantastic. A great, great Transformer. And then they showed off some of their effect system uh, overview, which was a display stand. Uh, they still use the effect system, which is pretty cool. And then they gave us a Owl System Armor. I guess kind of a, like a kind of Jetfire thing going on, the Macross thing. I don't know if that came out as well. I'm not for sure. Uh, but I do love the Double Evil. The Overlord was really good. So there you go. Not much, but there is fans hobby and then up next is going to be 3a which is 30 now and it's kind of weird like i said uh they showed this last time uh they are a official you know price you know licensed product and everything but uh you know they were at tfcon so that's pretty cool so they showed off their bumblebee movie bumblebee and they also were showing off their new deluxe scale series which you know that's what they use now uh, they also showed their premium you can see the optimus prime next to the uh, uh bumblebee and everything so yeah, pretty cool. So there you go. 3A was there, and, or they showed off their movie uh, Bumblebee and a deluxe scale series as well. Awesome. All right, we got to see stuff from Gigapower. All right, so we got to see their swoop. Uh, we got two versions. We got the blue chested version. We also had the red chested version as well. We got to see the weapons. We got a stand, which was, looks really cool. I like that. And uh, yeah, they're really shiny. Got a lot of chrome going on. Um, I wish I would kind of got some of the Gigapower uh, Dinobots. I think that's the only thing they ever did was the Dinobots. Um, but they, you know, looks really good. Like I said, I would have used these for probably my bot modes, and then fans toys would have been my, um, you know, alt modes and everything. But yeah, so they showed off their, uh, you know, their swoop with the red and blue version, uh, chested version, and it uh, looks really good. So there you go. All right, I'm excited for this. We got to see new stuff from Magic Square. And I think this is the first time that we got to see anything on the third party panel from Magic Square. So we got to see their G1 Art Fire. They also did a G1 Blaster, and they showed off their G1 Trailbreaker. And all these came out. Uh, Magic Square's been around for a while, and I really like them. So, yeah, that's awesome. So, there you go. We got to see uh, Art Fire, Blaster, and Trailbreaker from, uh, you know, uh, Magic Square. That's awesome. And we got more Legends dudes from Iron Factory. All right. So, we got Legend Skill Jazz, which he's freaking awesome. I like him. And we also got to see the uh, Legends class Ruination, or the R.I.D. Combaticons, you know, and everything. So, they're a recolor of Bruticus. And, uh, man, I wish I would have got this one. I didn't uh, really think to get this one. But, um, yeah, the Bruticus and the Combiners are always really good with the Iron Factory. And I kind of wish I would have got this one. But there you go. We got to see Jazz and we got to see Ruin Nation. Awesome. It's awesome. Oh, also from Iron Factory, they showed us a little teaser. Uh, they showed Hound. I think that's Wheeljack. I want to say Clip Jumper. And then that was Mirage. And they just showed some, you know, little teasers for that and everything. So I forgot to mention that. Sorry about that. But, yeah, that was Iron Factory. All right, looks like Planet X showed us some new stuff. We got to see their Ratchet and their Ironhide, and they also showed off their Desaurus. Uh, now, these were more geared to the, you know, Fall of Cybertron, War of Cybertron game and everything, so they got kind of, you know, heavy stylized and everything, so it looked pretty cool. So there you go, that was Planet X, and then, yeah, awesome. All right, up next we got Jing Ying. Oh, I think that's how you say it. I hope it is. Probably not. But, yeah, showed us the uh, Metal Beast 01. This is their Transmetal 2 Megatron. 
Um, this thing's very impressive. Uh, this was early prototypes and everything, and it looks really good. So there you go. This was, I think, Jing Ying, and uh, this is their Transmetal 2 Megatron. Very nice. All right, so up next is going to be Rising Force. So now they're showing us a Masterpiece scale G1 drag strip. I think they started off as MP, but they uh, scaled it down to Legends. That might be the reason why it's taking forever for it to come out, because like I said, they're just now almost finishing the uh, Legend scale, which is a uh, need Breakdown uh, to finish off that. But I think they started off MP scale, but like I said, they downscaled it to uh, Legends. So there you go. This was Rising Force, and they showed off their Masterpiece scale G1 drag strip, which uh, never came out. All right, we got a couple things from Mastermind Creations, MMC. We got to see their Skylinks, which I have, and he's really good. Kind of just wish he was a little bigger to uh, kind of fit with the Legend scale and everything. But overall, really both are really nice. I liked it. They came in two separate parts and everything, so that's pretty cool. And they also showed off their DZEP, which is actually named off my boy Lenny. Uh, he used to be on Shattercast with me. Uh, this is their Death Source, and I think he's pretty cool as well. So there you go. We got new stuff from Mastermind Creations, man. Awesome. Awesome. And then moving on to Ocular Mac which is MMC, MMC as well, uh, they showed us all of their Combaticons. So we got to see Vortex, Onslaught, Swindle, Blastoff, Brawl. We also could see them uh, combined to their Bruticus. Uh, this was the all-in-one they're doing as well uh, with the Fensor and everything. So yeah, pretty cool. And they also showed off, I think this was the exclusive at TFCon. This was a Zelia Stealth. This is a black repaint of their G1 RC. And I have her. She's pretty cool. So there you go. That was MMC, also Ocular Max. All right. The last company that brought us anything was going to be Fans Toys. All right. So we got to see their G1 Warpath, which is awesome. I like him. And then we get to see this is just wild. We got to see their aerial bot, Silver Boat, Skydive. And that's amazing that, you know, they had to, you know, they just recently just came out. Uh, they finished them finally. Uh, they had to go back to the drawing boards and everything. So, yeah, I had to fix some stuff. But, yeah, that's the reason why it took so long uh, for them to get that out. We got to see their Blur. We also got to see their Brawn. Beachcomber and their start of the, uh, you know, the uh, uh, Stunticons, uh, which were uh, Motormaster and everything. So they still haven't finished those. We still need Breakdown and the uh, Combiner parts as well. Uh, so hopefully we'll eventually get that uh, probably next year. Uh, but yeah, that was Fans Toys. And yeah, it's really good stuff, man. You know, I do give, you know, Fans Toys a little crap sometimes. But, you know, at least, they, you know, they were still putting out products. You know, they still, you know, had to go back to the drawing boards with their, you know, combiners. Uh, but at least they still put out products, so, you know, in between that. So that's pretty cool. So there you go, fans toys. All right, folks, that's it for the panel for 2018 in Chicago. And not a whole lot of stuff this time. Like the last two years uh, that I talked about had a whole lot of stuff, a whole lot of add-on kits and everything, but not a whole lot there. Well, we still got to see some really great stuff from fans toys, you know, MMC. We got to see Giga Power and then, you know, fans hobby and that good stuff. So yeah, still a lot of good stuff. Most of it, I think, came out. There was a couple things that didn't really come out. Uh, but yeah, really cool to see this. So I hope you liked this. If you did, hit me up a like, share, prayers, and care bears. Hit that sub button for me if you don't mind. It all helps out the channel. Hit me up some comments. Do any of y'all have any of this stuff? Or, you know, do y'all remember this stuff and everything? And uh, I guess I'll see you in the next, uh, uh, you know, TFCon panel. It'll be 2019. And as always, be good to yourself. Man, hell freaking Transformers. And good night, folks.